hey guys welcome back to my channel good morning thank you for stopping by and today i'm finally going to be working on the cover for our mini four by six album i finished it all the layouts some of the layouts i shared with you on camera and then some of them i worked off camera by myself just peaceful um, and I wanted to do the flip through before we get to working on the cover so for the cover I am going to be using fabric and if my idea doesn't work then I am going to switch um, to paper to create a paper cover um, I have a lot of these <laughs> You guys know that I saved them whenever I placed an order from scrapbook.com because it's a protector for your single 12 by 12 pages that you order. And so in case the fabric goes completely wrong, then I'm going to fall back to using a paper cover. But before we get started, I wanted to show you like a small, like a quick flip through of all the layouts. So hopefully both of them yeah if I flip it over you guys will be able to see so and that's the first one I don't know if I should talk or if I should just be quiet and let you guys enjoy it I'll tell you which one is my favorite this one is my favorite only because I ended up using that paste and I just feel like it tied this whole layout together. So, and the, remember guys that the whole reason why I created this mini album was because I had individual pictures from different timelines, from different events that I just needed somewhere to house them. And so that was the the idea for creating something like this and this is Mike's favorite layout I showed him the album before I showed you guys and he just loved this layout maybe because it's just his daughter that's why <laughs> he says that's such a good picture of her our son this one has a pocket right here where I created and used some of the tags for my journaling. So I just kind of stuffed them in there. My nephew, one of my nephews. And then Michael, I love the simplicity of this and the brightness of the yellow. And then right here I just found the perfect thing that said chasing dreams. Just all of them are my favorite. This is Mike when he was a baby or a kid, if you guys can't tell, <laughs> his goofy self. Um, who would have thought, just journaling, who would have thought that I would end up with um, a kid from a completely different world than mine. So just journal that. And then here I started using three by fours to add something and I ended up using a puffy um, sticker because remember that I kind of even like I tried to even out as much as I could the thickness on this side to match the thickness on this side and so I needed like dimension and chipboard stickers and as much as I could to make this be a little bit better than this side or to even them out so I ended up using that um, foam where was I I don't know if I showed you this one did I so this one and then my son and then this one and then here's the puffy one and then this one you guys I love this paper and you guys know I have a fascination for pretty paper and I almost didn't want to take away from it so I left it as it is so this oops I'm almost tearing that flower these two just go like that and then you'll see in a little bit this is also one of my favorites this is 
Mike when he was two years old and then this is Mike our son when he was two years old and I just love that vintage picture I love that I tied them in together and I believe I shared this layout with you guys and then here is so this one is the only picture that I put this way and it's just I needed somewhere to house those Polaroid pictures and so I did that and then I tied it with the flowers that we made for building our stash and just added a few um this is I think I want to say the first time I went to meet Mike's family when we were dating so let's take that and then this one's of our baby girl, which I think I've already created a layout for this picture in her traveler's notebook. I just wanted um, to house the small, a, a small wallet size picture in here as well. This one, you guys, is the only pages that I have no idea what to do. So I just left it. I basically sewed this ribbon that Lila sent me um, on this edge right here and honestly I feel like it's not a complete like maybe I should add something but I don't know I just love it um, maybe later on if I find the right picture I'll come back and work on it but for now I'm just gonna consider it done and then you flip over and here is the three by four I scrapbooked this picture already, a bigger version in a 12 by 12 layout that I shared with you guys. But again, you get those small wallet size and you give them out to your family and then you're like, okay, I still have one or two lingering. So I just decided to house it in here and just journaled a bit. But other than that, kept this paper really simple or this side. And then here's another Polaroid um, picture of me and Mike. I love the butterflies here. So I try to bring in a little bit of the brown with this background paper and then just added that pop of color with that pink. Um, and so, and that's that layout. And then the final layout is this one of our Cholo who's our golden retriever. And I just love the way this layout turned out as well. I tied it in with that those flowers here and then this, and I added some of those flowers there. And then the last page is just our story. It, this is a four by six journal card that came in a kit or in a collection. So now I am going to remove these. And I'm going to remove the top one as well. I hope this turns out okay. I hope it turns out good. So, okay, so let me put this aside and out the way. And now I have my chipboard covers here that are... I think they're a little bit bigger than a four by six. So I want to say it may be four and a quarter by six and a quarter for the covers because I wanted um, these are four by six and I wanted the covers to protect the paper from the being damaged. So I wanted just a little bit of overlay so that um, when you stand it up, it's actually standing up on the chipboard and not the paper. So I want to say that these are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And what you're going to need is heat and bond ultra hold. And I am going to cut pieces, although I already have a piece here. I got this from, you could find it at Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. It's in the sewing section and it is heat and bond. I don't know if you guys need to see that. Um, it says that you could use your flat iron and I'm gonna try it with my heat tool. If my heat tool doesn't work, 
then I'm going to bring my iron so that I could um, that I could use that. So this is an older version. Okay, so what I want is a piece of paper like that that um, it's going to cover and give me the overlay so that I could do it like this. And then on the inside, we're going to use paper, pretty paper to decorate the inside. So basically, I'm only using this for the outside. So in this case, whichever, so this is the front one. So we would do it like this right but before i do that i'm going to cut another piece and honestly i'm just gonna eyeball so i'm gonna can you guys see my feet no because my thing let me try to scoot you guys out there okay so let me see i'm going to just kind of eyeball and cut another piece If we don't use this much, we can um, always cut it smaller. Okay, so let me move this out the way and put it away. And then let me show you the fabric that I picked out. I was just telling my mom yesterday that I like to hoard fabric just because it look, like I love the look of fabric. I don't even have a sewing machine, you guys. <laughs> You guys already know that, um, but I just love to hoard fabric because I feel like it's so pretty, especially if it's so pretty to look at. So let me try to cut this one as a little bit straighter than what it was. Okay, and then we're going to... Cut this way also. And I think this one's in an angle as well, so I'm gonna have to, well, it's not like I'm cutting straight at all. Okay. So, for the layouts that I created, I think this fabric and you guys, when I go buy five fabric, I only get like half a yard. But this one's a yard because I just loved it so much. But normally I just stick to half a yard. Um, so based on the colors of the layout, I feel like this is too bright and the blue doesn't go with it. So this is a no-go. And then I have this green one which I think might be might be an option to be honest so we're gonna set this one aside I also have this yellow and although I do have yellow implemented in between the layouts I feel like this yellow is too like it may not go so I'm going to say no to that one. And then I have this blue one. Although I kind of do like the blue one. Um, no, we're going to stick to to that. And then my only other option because, oh no, I have a few more. Okay, so I have this one which is so gorgeous look at that but I would want this one to be the overlay so for example if I do a solid green then I would want strips of this to come in like that so I don't think I'm going to be using this as the whole cover I'll use this as strips this is half a yard as well and i got this when hobby lobby was having a good sale on their on their fabric okay so then i have this one 
I don't know what the name of this is, this type of fabric, but I just love the, like the spat, the splatter. I don't know if you guys could see the spotted um, dots or the way this fabric was made. And I feel like I could use this as a basic layout or background, then bring in the strip of lace to go over it. And then I can add, you know, something like this on the cover or some leftover ephemera that I had, maybe something like that to kind of tie in those. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I used a lot of the, what collection was this, you guys? I totally forgot. Um... Something district, right? Hold on, I have a... Does the branding strip say Simple Vintage Garden District by Simple Stories? So I used a, a lot of small details that had from this collection in, in the book, in the album. So I figured that I could keep this neutral and then just add a pop of color with that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that. See, because neutral colors is like my way to go. And then you just add a splash of colors. So, um, so this is a big contender. And then my final one is this fabric that I also picked up. Um, and although I love the background, it's obviously Paris inspired. I feel like the roses are not the, like, they're not that bright in the collection. So I'm going to pass on this one. So then my options are these two. And I just don't know if I should play it safe and go with the, I mean, they're both neutral colors, but. I don't know which one to go to. Um, we're just going to go with this one. And then if I need to, I'll save this fabric and I'll bring some of the rib ribbon that Lila sent me. So we're going to go play it safe with this one. And I got a yard of this. So I am going to trim and I'm gonna eyeball let me move that aside eyeball as well so let me just kind of cut this like I said I'm eyeballing you guys because like I said the inside is gonna be covered so it's gonna hide the imperfections so I'm just I'm gonna go all the way. I think this piece is gonna give me enough for both. And if you want to, you can iron the fabric first so that it lays flat and you have like a flat surface to work with. Okay, that should be enough for both of these. Let me move this aside. Let me move the other fabric so I have space on my table. You know, I was wondering if anybody's done this, if um, you've tried to do this with fabric, um, fabric tuck. What is the... I have some, but... I don't know, maybe I used it all. Oh, I have Fabric Fusion. I thought I had a Fabric Tech. Hold on, let me. I guess I used it because I don't have it and I don't see it. I just have Tacky Glue. Oh, I have this one, but it's the same thing. Permanent Fabric Adhesive. 
think that fabric tech would work, but I don't have it. I thought I had some. I don't know if this would work. Should we do one with the heat on and one with this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't see what difference that would make. I mean, I'm sure it would make a difference, but I don't know if it's going to turn out differently. I think for the for the benefit of the YouTube video, I should I should test this out so I could just give you the best the best um, results of which one worked and which one didn't. Okay, so let's see. Okay, that's the back and this is the back. Okay, so if this is going to be, um, I think that's what I'm going to do, you guys. I am going to do one with the fabric uh, fusion. And then I'm going to do one with the heap on. So I'm going to have to save one of these. Um, just so that I could test it out for you guys and see which one works better. And like I said, worst case scenario, if I don't like it um, and the difference is really obvious, then I'll just remake it. Remake the one I like the best. So before... Um, I get started I am going to I don't know if this is gonna make a difference but I want this to be a little bit reinforced so let me add this and then flip it okay I should probably do, well, I have them out here. Might as well do the other side. And you know what? I was wondering if I should do eyelids, um, eyelids for this, but I don't think I have big enough ones that's gonna go through the, let me see, the out, I'll work on that in a minute because I did I was thinking about using eyelids but I don't think I have big enough to do this kind of thing where the rings are gonna go through I do have some and I'm gonna measure them out and if it works obviously I'll show you okay so this is going to be our back cover maybe I should label them before I before I mess it up. Okay, so we're just gonna say back. And we're gonna front. Okay, so we're gonna move that. Okay, so let's try it. The first thing, this one's gonna have to go this way. Um, that's the back of the fabric we're going to use this one and we're going to use the fabric fusion and i want to have my bone folder ready because i'm going to have to apply pressure i'm wondering if i should bring my my boards my mat so i don't damage my glass mat or make it super dirty what if they both work then use what you already have you don't have to go buy the heap on if you don't have it make sure okay let me close that. I want to be generous in the corners so that it adheres and definitely around here. Okay. Let's 
turn it. Let me try to center that. Okay. I guess I should have read the instructions. Does this tell you how long it has to dry clear? Mm, made in the USA. Okay. Great. Mm, no, it doesn't say. It doesn't say how long it has to sit there. Oh, see what I mean? Protect your mat, you guys. Because now... I knew I should have brought my mat over. The glue went through the fabric. Some of you probably were like, yep, yeah, we already knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> wow. Thanks for telling me, you guys. Let me see. Okay, do I have anything that I don't want? Okay, here. I would do it like this. I'm hoping it dries clear like it says it's going to do. Okay. I'm going to have to leave this and then go, go do something else so it could dry. Okay. Fingers crossed <laughs> and this works because I hate being wasteful with my fabric. Okay. Okay, before I would do anything else, I would grab your hole punch and it through there don't worry if it doesn't go the way it created the layout for you so not the layout that outline see so you could just look if you lift it up the circle layout is there if that makes sense and then you can just come in and trim This one came out a little wobbly, but I'm just trying to fussy cut that that end right there um, I hope the eyelids I have work I'm just dropping stuff over here see I have I have this but that's not the problem. The problem is the rings. So let me, let me remove one. Put that on the side and let me see. Oh, it's gonna work. Okay, so let's do it mm, which color should we stick with white yeah let's stick with white so since we're here let's add that and then i could bring my big mama over to to do the rest but let's 
since we're going to hide that. Maybe I should wait till this dries to see if if it's going to be worth it. <laughs> okay, let me just try. Don't be scared. Just do it. Okay, so... still goes through that's great it did grab a little bit look how the eyelid looks it grabbed a little bit so that's okay oh, I guess I should have cut the hole through the other one so hold on let me do that here because now okay so my mistake I should have I should have done that first. So how do I take the eyelid? Time to destroy. Is it gonna let me? Oh, please don't let me do it. Because I feel like I should have, I should have made it grab both fabrics like that. So, I don't know if, um, we need an eyelid remover there. Can somebody invent one? Or is there such a thing already? Okay, so I'm gonna just make sure I go through it so that I could have it on this side. And then I'm going to finish cutting that. And then let's flip it over and add some glue. Wait, another thing I should do first is kind of cut these corners. Okay. And then let's, great, my cap was still on. <laughs> Okay, so let me go here, everywhere. Make sure we grab that. Okay, I'm making sure I press down. Okay. I'm just trimming the little the little pieces okay so back to our eyelid we go okay we're going to put that there and now I just need to have it the right way. Make sure I have it before I squeeze. Let me see if this setting is going to work better. Yeah, that turned out great. I kind of smashed the eyelid a little too much, but that's okay. This is actually going to go this way. Wait, this was my back. Yeah, so it's going to go this way. Okay, so let's do the other one. Um, I'm going to need two more. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's there. Maybe not squeeze not so much on this one because it's still secured it. Okay, so don't squeeze too hard. So this is our back cover so far and it's gonna look like that. Now, let me 
Where's my other eyelid? See, I'm already losing stuff. I need to put the cover because this thing is leaking everywhere. Um, can you sit? Okay. So let me move all of this. And I'm going to let this. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to put it under something heavy. So what do I have here? Um, you know what? I'm going to put it over here on the side. And I'm going to put... No, that's not heavy. I'm going to put the sidekick over on top of it. So it sits like that. And it makes it flat. I'm just going to scoot that off to the side on the table. And we're going to bring in yeah that's the back we're gonna bring in our heat bond and for this what we want to do is heat it so let me bring my heat tool and i need something to protect my mat my glass mat so you guys don't mind me. <laughs> I have so much. Um, let's do this side because the other side still has black from the wax seals that I made not too long ago. So we're going to put it like this. And I'm only going to try to capture. You can even fold it if you want. Bye. Hold on. You're going to definitely need to press down on this one. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to trim because we know I'm not using this for the fabric. Technically, I just should have cut that. Why? Did I cut it right? Probably not. But it's okay. 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 So we want it like that. Okay, so let me go get my heat tool, or should I just go get my iron? Because how am I going to make, well, maybe I have more control with the heat tool. Okay, let's just try it. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's peeling off, okay? So then, oh, careful, because it is hot. Um, question, though. Look, I'm asking you guys question. When I peel it off to glue the thing, it is there. Can you guys see? It's not going to allow me to do this part. Oh, so we'll have to figure something out. Okay, so, oh, I did it for that one, for that side. Maybe I should have done it better. Oh, I kind of did it for that side. Okay, what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. It's okay, what are we doing? Figure it out. Let me just cut this. Okay, and then let's add our our side here.
Let me cut this extra. What did I do wrong? Okay, like that. And then let's flip it over. Okay, so it is working. I think I just need to cut this. I should have just left the, the square. I mean the rectangular, so I'm gonna cut this excess off. Yeah, it is adhering. The only thing with this is your cardboard is gonna bend a little because of the heat. So you'll have to mold it and turn it back and that didn't work. That did not work. Okay, how do I fix this? Did I even use this right? Okay, time to read the instructions. Prepare iron to medium hot, no seam. Place adhesive on the back of the material to be bonded. Place and hold iron on the paper liner for two seconds. Repeat until entire surface is bonded. Allow to cool. Cut the size of the shape needed. Okay, so. Oh, some parts it did stick. Um, okay, I'm gonna go get my iron to see if this works because in some areas it did stick really well. Um, so let me put this heat tool away. Let me throw this away. Um, I think it would have been easier for me to put, and I think that's how it was intended to, um, to put this paper on the back of the fabric flat iron it and then put it on the chipboard so I think that's where I went wrong but let me go grab my flat iron and bring it and then that way I could get it closer a closer uh, adhesive like bonding you know what I mean okay so let me put this away all right while we wait on that um on the iron to get hot. Let me go ahead and trim. Well, I need to see first, right? So let me go ahead and click through that. Click through that. And then turn it over. through that and let's see thank you babe. I'm gonna bring my wood um my wood thing just so that I could protect my mat. Okay. Basically I made myself an iron board. <laughs> okay, so this part came out. Now I just gotta do this part. And Punch a hole through the fabric. I think for the inside of this one, because I totally jacked it up, I'm gonna need that fabric fusion on this, on the edges. Um, but while we're here and we're waiting on my iron to get hot, I have it over here. Uh, where did my scissors go? Why do I always lose stuff on the table? Um, 
Seriously. Scissors, where are you? Okay. I'm going to... I kind of cut that. Let me see. Oh, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. So I'm just going to run it through. Yeah, you guys. Okay, so learn from my mistakes. Because I think... The best way was to adhere the heat bond to the fabric like the instructions said. And then you would have had the edges covered as well. But since I don't want to be wasteful, I am going to make sure I get the corners like that. And then for the rest, I'm going to have to rely on the fabric fusion, which let's check. It still shows the squibblies, you guys. So I don't know if that means it's still wet or what, but see how the heat bond doesn't give you those squiggly lines. So. It's been maybe like five, 10 minutes. No, not even, not 10 minutes, I'm lying. It's been like five. So, or maybe not even five. So we'll give it a chance. We'll continue to, to set that aside. Okay. Ooh, uh, this thing is working. I wish I would have done it the right way. This thing is like really working, you guys. So what I need is this side right here so that I could put the eyelids in. So, well, at least it's gonna be on the inside unless I cut strips like that. and put it, oh my gosh, I'm just making extra work for myself. I should have just done it the right the first time. Okay. So let me cut and see <laughs> if this is gonna work. Okay, and then from here, what we want is to adhere it to the fabric. Like that. Make sure you grab everything. Okay, and then what you want is to peel this off like so. Bring it over, and I mean, my holes are not really lined up, but that's okay. And then you're going to iron over, over the chipboard. Like so. I love it. Look how clean it looks right there. Oh, I wish I would have done it right. Okay, so we're going to put our eyelid there. Um, Let's see. We're going to make it work, though, because I don't want to be wasteful. And if I could save this, then I'm going to save it, you know. There's the eyelid right there. It grabbed the fabric. So there's no issues there. Let me get um, another eyelid because I don't know what happened to the other white one I had. And I'm going to push that through as well. Wait, is that? Yeah, this is my front. So I'm going to kind of line this up. Give it a gentle squeeze. It grabbed the fabric there. So now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and trim this side. And trim this side. And I want to get clean corners. I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves is not having clean corners. I'm going to do the same. Because, yes, I messed up, okay? I should have done this. I hope you guys are learning, and I hope that makes sense, what I'm saying, that um, cut your, adhere this to your fabric first, and then adhere it to your, to your cardboard or chipboard. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put that there, even if it goes a little over, it's okay. And then bring it in. I like to do opposite sides first. So I'm gonna do this side, this side, and then I'm gonna focus on these. Peel this off. You know I have a tool for this, right? I know you guys heard me <laughs> heard me complain uh because I always tell you I have a tool for this and I never use it. And I'm using my silicone mat because it's heat it obviously resistant. It's actually a cookie sheet that I ended up converting <laughs> into a mat that I could keep in my in my craft area and then I'm just gonna press it tight and then come back and get those corners first right there and then right here and then I could just do all of it like so and look at the clean Oh, this is so gorgeous. Okay, so now for the corners. What I want to do is kind of press inward, like pinch right here, and then flip over. So I am going to continue to work this little magic here. guys Mike is making noise as always okay let's see we could give it a once over like that like that if you want to just to make it flat and come back over on the other side and voila there is our cover I honestly think this would have been so much easier. Is this thing melting? Do you guys see it less? Let's do this and see if this can help it speed it up. I hope it doesn't stain. I could feel the, the glue through the through the iron. It says it dries clear, but I hope it's true. I 
is it adhering yeah it's definitely adhering also so all right we're gonna continue to let this do its job um I might as well just finishing it out see which one lasts longer the glue or the or the heat bond we're gonna do that I'm going to bring it over like so okay and then you know what I wonder if will help hold it in place I'm gonna be doing the same thing you guys I'm going to is it disappearing in your opinion I don't know I'm gonna have to like literally go once I'm done doing this size and uh, making it hold I am going to go help Mike with breakfast because it's early and he just got off shift so I'm sure he's tired and let me do these sides and then I'm gonna walk away and I'll let you guys know like how long it's been to see if this thing disappears if it doesn't disappear then you guys I have no choice but to to use the heat bond for the other one so again, I'm just going to pinch inward and fold over and give it a little hold right there. I should probably find another clip for here. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's see. I had a little glue there. Oops, too much, too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna pinch here. Pinch and roll over. Make sure I have enough glue there. I'm going to pinch there. Okay. And do the same thing here. I'm going to add glue to the corners only because I want to make sure it captures it. And then the rest. I could do... Okay, so pinch, pull, pinch, pull, secure it, pinch, pull, It's hard to work now it's hard work way longer than it had to if I would have just done the right thing followed instructions but no okay making sure I have that corner there corner here I'm going to what should I put okay let me 
Okay, guys, I am going to leave you for a minute. Um, like I said, this one, guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful corners, beautiful edges, gorgeous. Um, I'm going to let this one do its thing, and then I'm going to come back um, and finish the inside decorations, do a little bit of decor on the outside, and call this mini album done. So I'll see you guys in a, probably an hour or so. Okay, you guys, it's been about 40 minutes, almost an hour. And I came to check in on this thing. But I also came to, so I could start working on the cover. So I'm just going to remove the clips here. And look at the other side. I feel like it is disappearing so I feel like it needs more time so let me put these back here on the corners that I think need it the most and I'm going to move this one over honestly I forgot which one's the front and which one's the back I think this is the front so I'm gonna move this to the side and I have my little tray of decorative pieces here. So I have the bigger ephemera here, the little ephemera with the words and the sentiments in here, some hearts, some uh, brads, these, my washi tape, and then here I have like a bunch of stickers. So I have the sticker books with the um, puffy hearts, these flowers, and then just those words, some tags, my ticket book, and some of these stickers. I think I said that already. So I have this on the side. Um, what we need to work on first is the inside paper. So this is the first layout here right so what I want to do is for me to open it this way and I think well, there you have it this one's kind of perfect actually so let me cut this and I need it to be maybe four by six so that I have just a little bit of a Spot to hang out maybe a little bit more let's go a little bit more and see so about six and one quarter which I think it's gonna be two it's gonna cover the whole thing oh no it's not it's actually perfect I am going to trim on this side I just realized another mistake. Guess what it is? The freaking holes. Right here. The freaking holes. I should have done the eyelids afterwards. You know what? It's okay. Oh, it's okay. The whole purpose of this is so we could adjust adjust and try to savage this the projects when things go wrong you can still make it work so I'm going to cut the holes here cut it here okay that should go back there and this should go right here. Okay, and then I could put some reinforcers there. So that's going to be the inside. Let's use um, some of this stronger double-sided tape. 
make sure I grab the corners. Okay, cooperate please. Maybe one right here in between the holes. Okay. And maybe one more on this side also. I feel like um, it would have looked better if I would have had all of this together like that so that the eyelid could grab both the paper, the fabric, and the chipboard. But obviously I didn't do that, so it's okay. Um, so now I'm just going to lift a little bit at a time. Making sure that it is where I want it. Yep. Press here and then I'm gonna lift and do one at a time. Okay, and then we'll come back and do this one. Like that. And then the final one, which is, well, I guess I should have done that first. But it's okay, I could still grab it. Okay. And there we have the front, the front side. Okay, let me, well, somebody's really driving with their music on blast. You know what? I could have a chipboard of butterflies. That wouldn't look nice. Maybe instead of saying something, I could just use the butterflies for decorative pieces. But where are... And just like that, my table got messy all over again, even though I spent so much time organizing it. And I will finish off with I thought I had more chipboard, oh yeah, more chipboard butterflies. Right here. That's gonna be our cover. I like it. Let's let's start putting everything together then. So we're going to start off with the paper. I'm going to stick to using this type of uh, ribbon, I mean this type of tape because uh, this is paper. I want it to be able to last a while before it gets bent over or anything happens to it but i am going to put this on a basket in the shelf and call it a day so it's not like i'm gonna be moving it in and out or you know what i mean like it's once it stays there it's gonna stay there so I don't want it to sit on a shelf and then the paper pieces get damaged. Eyeball, because I don't remember exactly how I had this, but we're just going to go for it. And then this, right? Like that. And then the heart is going to come down there like that so let's add a piece to this i'm almost kind of wishing i guess i could use tacky glue to adhere all of this at least today i found my handy 
tool here. That one's gonna go there, and this can slide in there. And then the heart, I'm just trying to peel this part also. You know what? I could have stapled this stuff together. I'm just gonna put some tape right there. Or right, let's try some glue. Hopefully it doesn't show. Let me grab tacky glue. I'm thinking that tacky glues might do the better job. I didn't even know you were coming out. Okay, like that. Let me seal it before it goes everywhere. Ah, don't damage me. Okay, and we're gonna put this here, like so. Ooh, I like it. I like how it's turning out. Maybe the this had to be a little bit more down, but it's okay. And we're gonna do the same with this one. Now, <clears throat> let's see if I have something that I could kind of fill this space right here. I kind of like the bird. Let me see. Can I add some this bird in there? Okay, okay. Okay, because I know this video is taking way too long and maybe you guys are okay with that given the circumstance everybody's living at right now or living like right now. I hope you guys are being safe, that everybody's doing okay. We're just gonna keep it clean. Let's put it in the center. Okay, and that is our inside cover. Our front cover, I should say. Let me continue. It's still a little bit bent. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm still going to move this to the side. And while that stays there, I'm going to work on this one. So okay, so that's going to be um, our back cover. I do think that this side is eventually going to dry because it already started drying in this part right here and you can't see it. It's not as noticeable. So I am going to put everything together. Let me figure this out. What would be the easiest way? Well, the easiest way to open it all the way okay and then slide this through slide that through and we're gonna start adding our layouts oh my gosh i think this project turned out so adorable but it's just my opinion i could be biased <laughs> it's my project after all Let's see. Go in. Come on. Where are you? Go in. Did I grab all of them? No, I didn't. Okay. This right here. Come on. Where is the other one? Right there. 
And then the final one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this turned out so stinking adorable. I love it. Okay, so it's lifting right now. That's because of the bulkiness, so I have to lay it flat. Oh, I forgot this. My little clip that I made and also the little pin that Susan gifted me. We're going to add that here. Okay. Voila. That is our book. Now, keep in mind that because of the bulkiness, this thing is lifting. So I feel like I need to open it and lay it flat so that it finishes drying, especially the liquid glue. So now that all of it is put together and I can officially call this done, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick flip through. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. You guys, this was such a fun project to find random pictures throughout our individual pictures and just find them at home. How gorgeous is that? This is seriously my second favorite. Pretty girl. Oh, it's the thing. This is the one that doesn't have a home. This one. I mean, it. not that it doesn't have a home. This is just an empty page. That one. Fatty. And our back cover. <gasps> and like I said, it's still drying. So I'm going to leave it like that. Or like that and call it a day you guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you learned from my mistakes i hope that you guys enjoy finding homes for your individual pictures and then just using the same family of pictures to kind of put it all together i hope that you enjoyed this sorry it was super long thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next video have a good one bye